Hi guys, I hope everybody is doing absolutely wonderful. Um, I've got two things to talk about today. I bought this tiny socket here. Um, I thought it'd be quite good for my uh, half inch drive ratchet. But I think there's been an error because I thought it said three eighths drive, but apparently I must have accidentally got a mistake because it is a, how big is it? it's a one and a half inch drive so one and a half inch so i've slightly made an error here um i don't know how i'm going to use it now um oh, i don't know what to do um it's it's bigger than i thought it was going to be um it is a shall we just zoom in there it's a memento made in sweden and it's a four, five and one quarter inch, I think. Five and one quarter inch drive, five and a quarter inch. So the reason I actually bought this was it weighs an absolute ton. But the reason I bought it for is because I thought if, if I put a little piece of plastic down it, I can put my pens in it and make it into a pen pot. But I think I'm going to have to put some sort of divider across there because otherwise, you know, so it's a little bit better. So I got myself a, a five and a quarter inch um, pen pot. <laughs> I've, I'm going to order some, um, now this is around, I'm going to order some angle grinder polishing bits um, so I can buff it up because it's kind of ugh, heavy. It probably weighs 20 kilos maybe 40 pound 35 pound it's it's proper solid steel and i've put a little bit of felt at the bottom of it just so i can drag it around without scratching then obviously i've got the the top in the bottom so right guys so this is guess the price um it's kind of interesting, don't you think? I wonder what a socket like this would cost. Now, I was actually talking to Jack from Jack's Shed, uh, Jack Clare, who's got a YouTube channel. There'll be a link below. And he said, um, I said to him, he said, oh, have you seen this socket? And he had like a two-inch socket. I said, yeah, I'm after one of those for a pen holder, but a bit bigger. And he found me this one available for sale, and it wasn't too far away from me. So I went and collected it. So thank you so much, Jack. For finding this you're like a bloodhound when it comes to finding things because i've looked several times and i've never found one these are super rare because they're super useless i mean unless you're working on an oil rig or a fairground or somewhere i don't know how, what what you'd have a use for it but it's super cool um, and as it as it happens this morning jack i've received a i've received um mail from jack shed and he sent me two items he sent me all these stickers here jack shed stickers which he's had printed um so thank you jack so these so if anybody wants um you know wins a sticker or let's say if anyone's got a channel and they want to swap a sticker you can have a tool addict and a jack shed now so i can send out two and you can send me two of yours and i can send one on to jack so that's good isn't it so um um, so we got I got two lots of stickers now to post out so everyone likes to share their channels and stuff <laughs> So what do you think I paid for this guys? Do you think it was cheap or do you think it was dear? You'll have to make your own mind up on that um, uh, Also, um, Jack sent me something else in the parcel Which was very kind of him. He sent me this um, Letter stamp for the what the people stamp letters and chisels and stuff like that um, and I love these and I do actually have a few of them already um, and I, I can't bear to throw them away from the different people's names when I've bought toolboxes Jack has bought a toolbox so he said he thinks this belongs with these so thank you Jack very much for that mate I really appreciate it um, so I've got four of these little letter stamps now so I treasure those and I'll put them back nice and safe in the drawer. So thanks again, Jack, for that. Thanks for the stickers. Um, I'll get my, um, I've got for you, Jack. Um, hang on a minute. I've got for you, Jack. I've got two stickers. I've got the um, Resto Rob. 
and um, I've got the T-Rex Customs to go to you, Jack, as well. And I've also got another one. Well, hang on a sec. My friend from Restore and Make has sent me, posted me two stickers as well. So you've got, um, I'll get these off to you now, the Resto Rob and the Restore and Make. And the, the, the chap who's got this channel here, which will also be in the link below, he is, um, I've actually in the process of posting a tool to him for him to restore. Um, and he's quite local to me. So check his channel as well. This is Dave from Restore and Make. And then don't forget also uh, Jack Shed channel as well. So I'll get these posted off to you. So you've got two more stickers to put on your cabinet, Jack. Um, thanks very much, mate, um, for those. I really appreciate it. Don't forget in the description to put what you think I paid for this humongous uh, socket. All right, and I'll look forward to the guesses and see what people think. All right, take care. Bye. Oh, before I go, Jack, I've, put, I've swapped your sticker out because I much prefer the round one. I think it's much nicer. And I've got Restore and Makes on my cabinet as well. Thanks for, thanks for that, Dave. And thanks to you, Jack. Um, and then I've got my uh, John, John Fix sticker, which I think is still my favourite, and Magdad as well. And then we've got the absolute... The granddaddy of designs, Resto Rob. Very jealous, Resto Rob. So I love all those stickers. So thanks again for everyone who sent me stickers. If you've got a channel and you want to swap stickers, feel free to get in contact below. All right, take care. Bye.